Hey guys, here are your predictions for the 2016 NXL P3 paper. So the first thing I have to tell you is that I am not an examiner. I do not know any insider secrets. I have not seen the paper. I do not know what is definitely going to come up. So please revise absolutely everything. Don't leave anything out. But one thing I can say is that math is gonna be a massive, massive part of this paper. It always is. So make sure you know all of your units and make sure you know how to rearrange your equations because you're not gonna be able to access those top grades if you can't do that. It is so, so so important that you can do your maths properly, that you can rearrange your equations and do your units. Now a big part of P3 is my favourite part of physics and that is the quantum physics. So make sure you know all of that really well. Make sure you know all your quarks, all your positrons, all your electrons. Make sure you know what they do with each other. Make sure you know all the decay equations. Because it can seem scary, it can seem intimidating, but this is actually a really, really nice, easy part of physics. It's a great place to pick up loads and loads of marks. Another area that can seem scary but is actually a fantastic place to pick up marks is lenses and ray diagrams. Now ray diagrams seem so so hard when you first come across them but if you just follow a few simple rules you can draw any ray diagram and this is a fantastic easy great way to pick up marks so make sure you can do all of your ray diagrams really really well. Make sure you know the problems with vision, how they can be corrected, what different um, types of lenses needed to correct long and short-sightedness because that's sort of another place they can ask you really nice marks. Make sure you can do everything to do with refraction, not only describing it in words but all of the maths that goes with it as well. And then the last bit, because this isn't a massive topic, is your medical imaging. So we need to be thinking about x-rays and ultrasounds, maybe comparing the two of them, maybe comparing it with a CT scan, because this is an area they could ask a really nice big six mark question. There's not a lot of maths they can ask in this bit, but there is a lot of wordy stuff they can ask. So if I was gonna pick something for the six mark question, this is the area that I would pick, medical physics. You have cancer treatment, you have CTs, you have x-rays, you have ultrasounds, and you have endoscopes. There's a lot there for you to be getting on with. But please, please, please go and learn all of your units. This is such a massive part of physics and it gets overlooked, but it is so, so important. So, good luck guys. I hope you find those um, little bits useful. But please remember, revise absolutely everything everything um good luck guys i know how hard you've been working i can see it in all the comments if you have anything else that i can help you with just drop me a comment below and i do my very very best to help you